Welcome back. Hold, can you see us through this stuff? Hello, Hello. Welcome back to the Chad and Bunny Show. Hello. Hello. Hold on. Let's get some of this stuff off the frame. Oh, yeah. our Christmas stuff. We got to move it. We got too much stuff here. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, it, there's too much. Yeah, come on. There Ooh. we go. Can you can you see us? No, we can see us. Okay, cool. Can you? Oh wait, you gotta get the. Wait, hold on. You got more out of the way. Yeah. Wait, is that too much stuff out of the way? Hold on. Everything's out of the way now. It's just us. No, it's just us. Oh, yep. oh yeah. What's with the mask? Oh, social distancing. Oh yeah. Here, let let let's get these off. That's oh, only us, so it's we're right. okay. We don't need it. Yeah, hold on. Block. That was it. So hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Chad and, and Bunny, Bunny Show. Show. <laughs> right. No, no, I'm, I say Chad and then you say Bunny. Okay. You always mess that up. Well, let's do it again. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Chad and Bunny Show. That's right. Okay. It's our annual Christmas special. This is going to be a long episode, folks. So, long. Uh, you know, if you got to go tinkle winkle or uh, toopy whoopy, do it now and then you can watch it later or something like that, right? Look. Right. So, oh, I thought we'd start the show off <coughs> with a joke. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Well, it's not really a joke, but okay. Clean underwear rolls! What are you talking about, clean underwear? What? That was just a brief announcement. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, speaking of underwear, hmm? what parent thinks that it's a cool thing to... Well, there goes my hand. <laughs> what parent thinks that it's a cool gift to give their kid underwear during Christmas? What parent? Yeah, that's stupid. That makes no sense. And by the way, folks, um, Santa does not give kids underwear for Christmas, okay? The only people that wear underwear, or <laughs> wear underwear, only people that want underwear for Christmas are like uh, people our age, right? This sounds like a chat rant already. It was. Okay. Well, no, it wasn't a rant. It was actually a, a, a holiday tip. Okay. A good yeah. tip. I like that. It was a good tip, wasn't it? You know, we've been getting along for the last couple of weeks, ever since we started the show. Well, to a degree. Mm hmm Yeah. To a degree. You, you know, I don't know. I don't know why you, my hat always falls off and yours stays on. Because... Oh, that's because it's super glued to your head. It is. That's right. It's I permanent. I forgot I put it's super glue in your hat. It's a Christmas hat. So it won't come off. Right. So uh, let's see. Okay, well, we knocked that out. So uh, welcome back to our annual holiday show. Welcome back to the show. Right. We're going to talk a little bit about holiday shopping plans and what you want from Santa this year and stuff, right? Oh, I want a lot. What do you, what do you want from Santa Claus? I want... Barney the Dinosaur. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, spoiler alert. Who the heck would have thought that he'd want anything? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's all Barney. It's always Barney. Barney That's all underwear, you want. a Barney little truck. See, he wants underwear. So, you know, Mom, Dad, if you're out there, get him Barney the Dinosaur. Barney underwear. Legos, Barney Candy. Barney Candy? Yes, they make Barney Candy. Now. Is it purple? It is purple. What, are the, what about Baby Bebop? Or is it Boobop or Bobop or Bobop? I don't know, but you can get me some Barbie candy. Barbie candy. Barbie, Barbie candy. candy. Yeah. You want Barbie candy? Whoa! Call Daddy, boys and girls. Barbie <laughs> you want candy. Barbie yeah. candy? Is that edible? I... <laughs> like edible underwear? Yeah. Edible. Woo All right. Moving on. Moving on. So, so you basically you want everything Barney, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. What would you like? Well, I of course would like a, a Barney uh, Fife um, badge. You and, and Barney uh, Fife and a, an outfit and stuff. Yeah. And uh, what else do I want? Um, no underwear, by the way. No underwear no. at all. Nom, Dad, no underwear. Santa, no underwear. Um, you know, a couple of DVDs. Um, you know, one of my favorite Christmas movies, which, you know, I should ask you too. My favorite Christmas movie, Fred Claus. Never heard of that. You never saw it? Oh, no, oh, no, God. oh. Vince Vaughn. Plug to Vince Vaughn if he's watching. Hi, Vince. Hi, Vince. Um, great movie, great music, um, really, really a movie. It was about Santa Claus's brother, Fred. He had a brother named Fred? Yeah, and how he grew up in the shadow of his famous brother, Santa. Oh. And there was a segment in there where they had, like, famous, famous people's brothers. They had Bill Clinton's brother, you know, President Clinton. They had, um, uh, Sylvester Stallone's brother. They had one of the Baldwin kids, I think. Mm -hmm. It was a really funny movie. If you oh, haven't seen it, watch it. Kind of like you living in my shadow. I don't live in your shadow. I live below your shadow. <laughs> you live on the top bunk. I live in the bottom bunk. So what do you think, huh? So what's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, oh boy. Christmas Story. Christmas Story? Yep, it was shot right here in Owensville. That wasn't shot in Open, open Eyes. That was open shot eyes. in uh, Cleveland. Oh, it was in Cleveland? Yeah, that's in Cleveland. We've already traveled so much, I can't keep track of this. Stuff. I know, I know. Hold on. I gotta oh, grab this. This is driving me crazy. Cool. All right, well, um... 
You gonna be doing any shopping this? Are you gonna be doing any shopping this week? Oh, there goes the bottle. There we go. Well, I like going to Toys R Us, and I went there, and it's gone. Well, yeah, Toys R Us. Uh, Kmart. I was gonna get a present there, so I get your present now. It oh, is that the excuse? Mm. That's not a good excuse, buddy. I went to get you a really, really nice gift at Toys R Us, and it was gone. Well, then go somewhere else. Go to uh, one of those other places. That wall place you can go there. Oh, or, I can do that. Or you can go to uh, Target and buy me something nice. Okay. Or um, you know, what is it? Uh, Saks. That's expensive. Well, you, I'm worth it, aren't I? Right, yeah. folks? I'm worth it. It's Christmas time, so yes, you are. Okay, cool. Well, let's, let's see what we get. All right, so we've got a fun-filled, packed episode today. Um, so right now, um, oh yeah, let's we're gonna we're gonna take a brick quick uh, a brick break. Let's we're take gonna a take a break. quick break. We'll be right back. We got some new sponsors. We got some good news to pass on. So we'll be right back. Enjoy this commercial. <laughs> Dysfunctional family here at NBTV to yours. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays! Hello, everybody! Hello. Welcome back to the Chad and Buddy Show. Hi. You didn't say it. Welcome back to the Chad. No, 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 no. It's Echo. Remember, we did this last time. How do you forget this? I don't thing? like that. Yeah, I okay, do. Okay, let's do it again. I love it. It's like, welcome it back to the Chad and Bunny Show. Or we, or we could do, welcome back to the Chad and Bunny Show. Chad and Bunny Show. That's the one I like. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, we'll keep that. Okay, cool. So, anyways, folks, let's talk about our sponsors. Wait. Would you like to be a sponsor on our show? If, I would. You would? Really? Do <laughs> you have money? No. I didn't think so. Then you can't be a sponsor. <laughs> okay. Well, we should thank our current sponsors, uh, Beanie's Coffee Shop. Thank you, Beanie's Coffee yeah. Shop. By the way, a viewer did ask where they could find Beanie's, and they looked online and couldn't find him anywhere. That's because Beanie's is only located in the city of Open Eyes. Only one place. Right. Only one place right now. They might franchise out. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, coffee beans do multiply, right? Yes. So there might be more Beanie's out there. I don't know. But right now, only in Open Eyes. So you can't go there. One place. One place only. Okay, next up, our big sponsor, Crappos. Long time sponsor. Right. Well, actually, we've only been on four episodes. So, well, this is our fifth, so technically it's, well, Beanie's and Crappos are the it's same. It's a long time for us because we don't have any money. Yeah, that's true, right. And Crapples with their great bear products. We got bear soap, and they just introduced a brand new bear product. It's called um, Bear Poo. Rampoo. No, no, that's no, no, that's the other sponsor. This oh, is Bear Poo. Bear Poo, okay. Well, that's it's Bear, bear poo. Shampoo, but it's, it goes by Bear Poo. Oh, bears can take uh, showers and shampoo now. Okay. Right, yeah. Although, you know, we'll see how it goes. I mean, Bill said that bears really don't use shampoo that much. Mm -hmm. They're more into the soap, but... We'll see. I mean, I'm thinking they probably use shampoo. I don't know. I don't think they're, they're going to take to it too well. And then we got Hush, right there. There's another product from Crapo's, Hush, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you want, you know, those annoying neighbors or people that talk, you just spray it in their general direction and BAM! Shh! Quiet. That's right. A quiet zone is what you want, then Hush is what you need. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And uh, we might have Rampoo on board as a sponsor. That'd be a big one. That would be That'd a big be our one. biggest sponsor. Oh, God. Well, no, Crapo's, I think, is about bigger than they are. Okay, Crapo's bigger than Rampoo? Yeah, I think. Well, because Rampoo has a freeway ramp in a can, which comes in handy when you were traveling. In fact, we could have used it last time we were on a trip when we got, when I was asking you, uh, where's the rest stop? And you said it's the next exit, and we missed it. If we would have had Rampoo's freeway ramp in a can, we could have got off. And I tricked you. I knew there was no exit. <laughs> uh huh, see? And then uh, Rampoo also has that uh, instant pull. Basically, if you want to have a pull in your backyard, but you don't want to go through the hassle, you just use instant pull. You light it, and then poof, instant pull. Cool. Now let's talk about our another sponsor. We got a sponsor from uh, the villages in the in Florida. A big one. Yeah, a big one. It's called Gray Owls. The Gray Owls. Yeah, no, no, the just Gray Owls. I don't think there's a the. 
I like the gray owls. I think I'll have to find out if there's a. Mm. I okay. think it's just gray owls. Yeah. Gray owls. Okay. That's Basically, cool. gray owls is a, a bunch of old men that um, like Hooters. Mm? Uh, Hooters oh. wings. I'm oh. sorry. Hooters <laughs> wings. Right. They like Hooters wings. They, I'm sure uh, they like both. Yeah. They go. They go to Hooters once a month to. Um, and and what was it they went to Hooters for? Good discussions. No, no, wasn't it? It was um, hot wings. I thought it was it hot wings. Cold beer and, and good conversation? Yep, that's it. That's what it was. You never have to reshoot this. No, we don't. We, we already did it. It's done. You you forgot the line. I, I forgot to add it. You write it. How can I, I wrote it. it. Well, hey, anyway. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Hot wings, cold beer, and good conversation. There you go. There we go. See, it, it takes a while for Bunny to <laughs> register these things. The we greenhouse like hot wings, cold beer, and good conversation. Exactly. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah, why don't you get those out? So I'll do this one more time. The Grey Owls like hot wings, cold beer, and good conversation. Exactly. That might be a good one. That, that's a better one. All right. That's cool. It all adds up. And, but and, thank you, Grey Owls. Yeah, thank you very much for that donation and that sponsorship. We can use that money to upgrade our set and equipment and um, whatever else we can do with it. And we have a small gift for you, too. We're going to uh, deliver it in a minute. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do a special um, shout-out. Oh, because I mentioned, I forgot to mention, Grey Owls. It's basically a bunch of older guys. Mm -hmm. uh, can be older women too if they want to join, and and it's, like I said, same thing. You gotta like to go to Hooters, you know. Old guys or um, old men who love Hooters. That wings, sorry, Hooters wings. Hooters they keep saying that. I don't I'm know why. Confused. I'm gonna get yelled at for that. But it's in the villages, uh, big huge community in Florida. It's about an hour south of Orlando. Oh wow, that'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, that's right where mom and dad live. That's right. They moved out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't go visit, visit them this year. Well, no. They don't want us to come and visit. Well, we can't because of uh, the whatever's <laughs> going on, but they don't want us anyway. Well, they're sending me a care... They're sending us a care... I was going to say me, but they're sending us a care package. I bet it's going to be nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be fruitcake. I think fruitcake. I don't know. Was it fruitcake? I don't know. It might be fruitcake. It'll be delicious. But anyways, the Grey Owls, good organization. Like I said, if you want to go for... Good wings, cool beer... And good conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you must say it was hot wings, but that's close enough. It works. So it's a great organization. A lot of Hooter chicks, uh, women, and and uh, good waitresses and stuff there at Hooter. So yeah, good organization. And then we got something special for you in our next segment, right? Yes, we do. So um, now I did have some other news to pass on to you. Okay. It's not necessarily good, but it's uh, it, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, we're gonna have to find somebody else to do our theme song. Oh, uh, why? Because Lissy uh, just can't can't do it anymore. Why? I think she's not uh, 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 able to. I think her health is uh, oh, not too bad. So, okay. yeah. so it's kind of sad. We miss you, Lissy. So Best in wishes. Honor, yeah, so in honor of Lissy, you know, who, who can't do our theme song anymore, she did a whole bunch for us. For years. Yeah, for years. We're going to um, feature some of her um, favorite, favorite, famous um, theme songs over there. In fact, we got one coming up right now. Um, I think we're going to play the one... You weren't a part of this. I was. We were going to go to uh, Iran um, to do a show. I was going. No, you weren't. I said I was. I don't think you were going. I think I was going. Were you going? Yes, I was going. You were going to go? We had a meeting at my house about going. We did? Yes. Oh, yeah, you were <laughs> going to go. Right? Oh, that's right. You, you were going to go. Yeah, well, I kind of like blocked you out for that one. I was like, why are we going to Iran? Iran. Iran. Yeah, it's not Iran. I mean, they say it's like Iran far away. That's like a flock of seagulls. I remember that song. Yeah, that was a cool song. I like that. But yeah, I was going on a tour. But anyways, it, it, she did a theme song for us okay. for, the, for the show we were going to do. So we'll play um, either the whole thing or a little bit of it. All right. So cool. What are you pushing me for? <laughs> Get you in frame. What do you mean? I'm not in frame? You're in frame now. How You're am fine. I not in frame? You're fine. Oh my gosh. You, you know, it's these props and things that we have up on our set. So, okay. Well, anyways, folks, we're going to be right back after this segment with a special... Um, shout out to uh, Gray Owls. Gray Owls, see you in a second. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Me. We gotta get packing. What do you mean we gotta get packing? We're going on a trip. What do you mean we're going on a trip? I don't know anything about a trip. What trip? We're going on a Come plane. On, hurry what do you mean we're going to miss the plane? plane? What plane? A we're plane. Going on a plane this morning. Yeah, what a do you plane. Mean we're going on a plane. This we're morning. going on a plane. We're going on a plane this morning. This morning, we're flying across. We're flying across the sea. We are. Are you sure? We're, we're landing in Iran. We're landing in where? Tomorrow. 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 I wonder how it. Be. 
businesses want to succeed and grow. And by using NB Puppets, they will. NB Puppets will help you to save money, appeal to a wider target audience, be remembered longer, and stand out over the competition. And when your business succeeds, you'll be happy. And when you're happy, your customers are happy. The country is happy. The community is happy. The world is happy. The universe is happy! So, if you want to make the universe a happier place, hire NB Puppets. Thank you. Hello! Hello, welcome, welcome to the Chad, Chad, Show. Chad and Bunny Show. Right, this is your segment. Yep, we had some uh, cards made for veterans. Uh, second graders made them, and uh, we want to read some of them to you. We'll show yeah. them to you and read them to you. Really nice, they're yeah. They're very nice. They tried really hard, and they're just for you. Yeah, exactly. You want to go first? Um, Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for keeping us safe. It was written by Chrissy, and it says, Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for... Keeping us safe. Thanks again. That's a card just for you guys. Oh, that's nice. That's very okay. nice. I, I got one. Happy Veterans Day. Uh, thank you for keeping us safe. It's from uh, Billy. Oh, thanks, Billy. We appreciate that. Yeah, nice. There's another one. Um, Jill made it. It says, Happy Veterans Day. On the outside, open it up. And it says, Thank you for your service. It has hearts all over it. Oh, wow. Thank yeah, you, thank Veterans. You. Thank you, Veterans. Yeah. Thank you. And this cool. one's from John. John? Let's read this. Dear, what is this? Dear what? It says, Dear, <laughs> I'm going to try and read it. Post B B safe. That's the outside. Post and the inside says, You can be yourself or your hot self can do. Thirsty, I love you and thank you for the best. I like you. I like you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me see that name again. Hold on. Let, open that up. Let me see the name. Let me see that. That's you! You wrote oh, that. Oh, I can't write. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. You can't add, you can't write. Oh, jeez, buddy. Hey, Kathy wrote. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your safe service. Thank nice. you for keeping us safe. Thank you. That was sweet. Oh, wow. There's more. There's more? This is I love you every day. This is the veterans. Thank you for keeping us safe. Oh. We love you, USA. USA. Woohoo! Yes. USA, USA, Let's USA, see. yeah. What's this one? You can't read? You want me to read? <laughs> yeah, you read it. Hello, thank you, happy Oh, Alright, here's a good one. Jeez, this is from Lisa. Lisa, hi There's Lisa. Lisa has a card. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. And then she put some hearts in there oh, on the inside of the card. No, and no. she said, thank you for keeping us safe. I love you guys. Oh, that's sweet. So thank you, Grails. Thank you. Oh, no, but thank you for the kids to sending those wonderful and gifts. And thanks the kids. They they worked really and, hard, yeah. and they're for you. And thanks to the Gray Owl, um, the Gray Owl organization in the villages of Florida, for being a sponsor of our show. Thank you. Cool. Hello, welcome everybody. back. Welcome back to the Chad and Buddy Show. You did it too quick. What do you mean, Chad? But that's how we do it. Right, let's do it one more time. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the Chad Buddy Show. Show. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Okay. Well, I got some good news. We got we got a letter of the week today. Okay. Yeah. Let me um, let me let me. Sorry, okay. What do we have? So uh, the person writes in to ask why we're identical twins when we look absolutely nothing alike. Um. Yeah. I I don't. But see what he doesn't see. I mean, we look alike. We do look alike. I mean. Yeah, we look alike, right? Yeah, come on. What's wrong with you? And while we're twins, you don't know? I mean, come on. And you don't want to know. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. He was first. I was second. Yep. I was supposed to be first, but then he, you know, we, we talked about that before. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, you check your glasses, buddy. You might need yeah, to. Yeah, you, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, because we look alike. Go to optometrist and see. Yeah, because, I mean, everybody else says we look alike. Everybody says that for I years. Know. What's wrong Our with whole you? Our yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm thinking it was, it was um, somebody that doesn't like us. Everybody likes us. Yeah, well, there's somebody. There's always somebody. Always one or two people, yeah. Yeah, you, you remember that one person that we dealt with that didn't like you? Hmm? Yeah. What happened to them? I have no uh, idea. I think, they, I think they're gone. Yep. Something they happened. They went somewhere. I don't know. Who knows? Well, hey, folks, coming up. <coughs> um, sorry. <coughs> coming up, we got another Chad Rance. Chad Rance? And a Bunnies experiment. Oh, we're going to do another. Oh, it's a fun experiment today. Now, hold on, hold on. I got I to gotta interrupt here for a second. Okay. Um, what the heck happened with the last experiment? That sucked. It went wrong. It went wrong. A lot it of was a wrong. blob. 
It's science. Things are allowed to go wrong in science. This is how, okay. how come the, 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 the video that you looked at to see that was perfect, but yours was not? It happens. It's science. It's you. No, it is me. It's you. So, folks, bunny experiments. Maybe we should add on a title. Bunny experiments fail or pass? Well, let us know. I don't know. They're, I, they're kind of weird. I'm really exciting for you today. Yeah. I'm going to make you lunch. You're gonna make, I'm not oh. going to tell you all the secrets yet, but I'm going to make you lunch. It's going to be good. <laughs> okay, it's yeah. It's going to be good. I'm sure it's going to be good. That's going to be everywhere. I'm going to do a lot of experience today with lunch. Oh, you know, incidentally, I forgot to ask you, um, did you eat the, that slice of Aunt Bertha's uh, fruitcake? Yes. And um, folks, um, <clears throat> how long did you spend in the bathroom? Hours. Hours. Oh, my gosh. I told you not to eat that fruitcake. You cake. did tell me not to eat it. But yeah, you decided that you wanted an experiment. That, now see, that would have been a good bunny's experiment. Bunny eats the fruitcake, and let's see what happens to him. But when you tell me to do something, I always do the opposite. Yeah, that's true. You do. And so you the do. opposite happened. So, okay, cool. So we got Chad Rance coming up. We got uh, bunny, bunny experiment. experiments. And then we've got Nasty Peace Theaters. Every year for about 15 years we've been doing this. Right. Mm -hmm. And you, you always right? mess up my story. I don't mess up your story. Every year you mess it up. You mess it up because you don't know how to read it right. I'm reading it from the book. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of books, um, you know, you said you uh, you couldn't go out and buy me anything. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what. I got a letter the other day from this um, loan company, mm -hmm. and uh, they said I could borrow $1,000. Uh, they would give me $1,000. You could have $1,000. Right. Now, I, I said, oh, that's cool. You know, I mean, I could use a grand. We what could use a grand for the show. But then I, um, I was one of those people that likes to read the fine print. I read the fine print. Never read the fine print. You know how much interest they were going to charge? How me? much? 290% interest. 290% interest? Right. And I would have to pay it back in uh, 24 bi-weekly payments. So that thousand dollar loan would be like four thousand uh, dollars? Like right around three grand. Three thousand. So yeah. you, you borrow a grand, you gotta pay two grand back, plus you gotta pay that initial thousand dollars back. So that's three grand just to borrow one grand. One thousand dollars. Yeah. That's like going to um you really you know, I wanna borrow money from me. Bunny's the same way. I'm the same way. He's like, all right, you wanna borrow a dollar, you're gonna have to pay me a dollar back. I'm like, what? I gotta pay you two dollars for a dollar loan? Wow, you cheapskate. That's the way loans work. Yeah, I guess that dude, that's, that's life. Sad. Yeah, but that's not, sad. not what you're talking about. Though. No, that's crazy. That is crazy. Cool. All right. So we got coming up right now. We got a Chad Rance and then Bunny Experiments. Let's see if he actually makes it work for a change. It'll work. And then we got an. I don't know if it'll and work. Then, yeah. And then we got an interview after that with uh, Melody Styles. We're gonna talk to Melody. I hope we're talking to Melody. She said she was gonna call in. She might be mad at me. I well, she, she still is. I think. I hope yeah. she answers the phone. Well, yeah, 50-50. Either Melody loves you or she hates you. We're always like that. Well, she's like a sister to us more. I yeah, love she, her, though. You what? I love her, though. She's oh, Yeah, good. she does. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, you've been kind of... I did her. something wrong. You always do something wrong. I did something wrong. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, uh, we'll be right back after these important announcements. Be right or back. messages. Hello, folks. Hello. Looking for an interesting show to watch? Then watch ours. Right, on Facebook.com. It's called The Chad. And Bunny Show. And it's on the Natural Bridges Puppets um, page. Hello, season's greetings, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chad Rants. Today I want to rant to you a little bit about this holiday tradition of passing along fruitcake. Okay, now, first off, Fruit is good. I love fruit. Fruit's good. Cake, delicious. Uh, unless uh, Bunny makes it. If Bunny makes it, then it's terrible. Um, combining fruit and cake, you would think would be a good idea, and it would taste delicious, but I don't know what the heck they're using because, I mean, we've got Aunt Bertha's uh, fruit cake. We've had it for like 30 years, and nobody wants to eat it. Of course, then again, nobody wants to get rid of it. I mean, we tried to throw it away, but then the garbage people won't take it. Um, we leave it out for the animals to eat. They poop all over it because they don't want to eat it. Um, nobody wants it. So it's basically this huge log, like a building log that we can use to, you know, increase our foundation. But fruitcake, I mean, does anybody really like fruitcake? I mean, my dad makes a great fruitcake. He tried a new recipe and it tastes delicious. So why is this old fruitcake all taste like crap? But yet the new stuff, um, tastes a little better. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, because it was made at home instead of being manufactured. I don't know. 
So uh, what are your thoughts on fruitcake? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What? Let me know. Feel free to send me your comments or your rants, if you got something to rant about, to chadandbunny at AOL.com and uh, just put in the, uh, the subject line, Chad Rants. So get out there and eat or don't eat fruitcake. Thank you. Hi, we're gonna do some science experiments today. Um, I'm, it's Christmas time, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna make bunny... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what his name is. I'm Chad, you're Bunny, okay? Jeez Louise. I know we look alike, but come on, really? Alright, do it again. Hi, it's science time. Since it's the holidays, I'm gonna do something very nice for Chad. I'm gonna make him lunch. Chad, can you come in here? Oh god, what are you what are you doing? This is your this is your thing. I just got a brand new waffle maker. So I'm gonna make you lunch. Did where did you get that? At Walmart. What? At Walmart. No, oh, really? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make you a s'more. A s'more? Yes. I How about less? Ha ha ha! Get it? S'more less? <laughs> this is my segment. I know, sorry. I'll I be got out some graham crackers. I got some marshmallows. Mmm. That's a marshmallow? I think so. That's not a marshmallow. That's chocolate. That's, you know what? A marshmallow snowman, chocolate covered marshmallow chocolate snowman. Chocolate covered marshmallow. Wow, that is so interesting. Cool. I'm gonna make this for you. You know, and it looks like a big turd, really. It really does. <laughs> it really, so, really yeah, does. let me eat it. <laughs> I'll put another graham cracker on top of it, and I'm gonna put it in our brand new waffle maker and see what happens. By the way, folks, uh, if your kid's watching, um, do this with parental experience. Oh, you, or uh, work with parents, guidance. definitely. Yeah, because we don't want you to burn yourself. Okay, go ahead. There, there was our political. Or adult thingy. Okay, go ahead. It's cooking. It's cooking. Oh, it is working. Hot, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> really? You doubted that it would work. That's hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, I, I touched it. I'm not touching it. It's yours. This is your segment, bunny. All right. I'll we'll give it about 30 seconds. One, two, three. 30. 30. Editing. <laughs> Cha-ching. Oh wow, look. You have a s'more. Oh wow. That you, is come here. Uh, have a bite. No, 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 you, eat no. It. no, no you eat it. Alright. That's how you make a s'more. With a waffle iron. Okay. Right? Make sure that it gets cleaned up too, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it. We here at NBTV would like to wish you... Happy Hanukkah! Happy Kwanzaa! Happy Cheese Log Day! Season's greetings! Feliz Navidad! Merry Christmas! Happy Easter! From our dysfunctional family here at NBTV to yours... Happy, Happy Holidays! Welcome to Nasty Peace Theaters. What are we doing? The night before Christmas. Ooh, this is a good one, folks. So get snuggled, put that blanket on, and let's start reading. Now, we've tried this. We've tried this every year. And you always mess up the story. Since, I don't know. Since two thousand and seven, every year you mess it up. Okay, let's try and get it right this time. All right, let's try it. The okay. night before Christmas. Yes. Comfy, mm -hmm. folks. Okay. Listen up. I am. Twas the night before Christmas. Right, hold it. What is twas? Twas means, I don't know. You don't know what it means? It was. It was. Well, so for it was. All right, well then why didn't you just say it was? Let me read this story. All right, go ahead. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house. Whose house? Our house. Well, but some people live in apartments. All through the house and the apartments. And condos and trailer parks. Let me start condos. over. All right, go ahead. Twas the night before yeah. Christmas. <clears throat> it was. Twas the night before Christmas oh, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Well, duh, they don't have opposable thumbs. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Ew, and the room could certainly use some fresh air. P.U. And hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Who? St. Nicholas. Who's that? St. Nicholas, that's Santa Claus. I, th well, I thought his name was Chris Kringle. Now you're playing games, because we've been doing this for brains. years. His name is Chris Kringle, right? He's not a saint. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm reading a story for all the right, kids. All right, go ahead. The children nestled all snug in their beds. Nice. 
while visions of sugar plums dance in their heads. What the heck are sugar plums? Um, you take a piece of sugar and you take a plum and you mess them together. Ew! No kids are gonna have visions of sugar plums in their head. Come on. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat. Yeah. Had just settled down for a long winter's nap. What? Why are you taking a nap at night? You're going to bed. I was sleepy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Went out on the lawn. There was such a clatter. Yeah. I sprang from the bed to see what's the matter. What was the matter? Let's find out. Okay, find out. Ooh, I'm I'm on all tippy toes. You're doing this well this year. Thank you. So are you. You're reading right. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Yeah. Oh my God, you're flashing people again? No one's flashing. Everyone's okay. got clothes Flash on. cards? No? Okay. Tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. Oh my you God, you threw up, up a sash? I knew oh, you were going to do that. Oh, this is so gross. He does this every year about you the know, throwing up. Hold on. That's 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 terrible. That is... Oh, how are you throwing up a sash? I didn't know you could eat a sash. Now I guess you can't eat it. You mm -hmm. eat anything. Go ahead. Please go ahead. The moon on the breast <gasps> of the new fallen snow oh, okay. gave luster of midday to objects below. Objects below? When what to my wondering I should appear, yeah. but a miniature sleigh oh. and eight tiny reindeer. Oh my god, a sleigh that eats reindeer? There you go, the what reindeer. The heck? Yep. This is terrible. He does this every year, guys. I don't, don't do this. Don't You're pay doing attention. It. Just listen to the story. Oh my gosh. This are you sure this is this is good for kids? With a little old driver, so no. lively and quick. Oh, you're picking on senior citizens again. I knew in a moment, hi, Gray Owls. Hi, Gray Owls. <laughs> I knew in a moment, it must be St. Nick. Who's St. Nick? You answer that question. I, it's Chris Kringle. Or? Santa Claus? Santa Claus. So he goes by, he goes by three it. names? Got it. I didn't know all that. Well, see, I'm learning something new every day. More rapid than eagles. What? His courses they came. Wow. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Okay, where did he call them? That was a terrible whistle. By I know, I can't whistle. Yeah, I know. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. Cool. On Comet, on okay. Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And Comet was uh, back at home. You know, Comet wasn't there because he was cleaning the sink. He was just late. Yeah, and then don't forget Rudolph. And um, you got to forget Olive. And You're then getting other. your stories mixed up. No, he should be in there. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Or your apartment door. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Dash away all? Who's dashing now? I don't know what you're talking about. Dashing? Is that like uh, food? What? Or a dash driver? As dry leaves that before the wind hurricane, the wild hurricane fly. What? When they met an obstacle, mount to the fly. Mount to the fly? What mount the to the sky, man. Oh my gosh, you can't even read. Get He's wearing glasses, folks, and he can't even read. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew. Yeah. Will a sleigh full of toys Woo! and St. Nicholas too. St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, Santa Claus Chris Kringle, and toys. Are there going to be toys for me too? And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof yeah. the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. That's there a lot we go. of hoofs. That's a lot mm -hmm. of hoofs. Rudolph, Olive, don't forget the other reindeer. As I drew my head, you drew I was head? turning around. What? Down what the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. Oh my, he came in the chimney? He's breaking into your house, folks. Cover, get your weapons. You shouldn't say that little kids. What? He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. Yeah. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Oh, yeah, soot. That's how a chimneys got cleaned back in the uh, 1800s. Santa oh. Claus came down and cleaned them. A bundle of toys Ooh. he had flung on his back. Yeah. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His pack. Woohoo! He's opening his pack, buddy. Cool. <laughs> his eyes how they twinkled. His Ooh. dimples how merry. Mary? His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. Like a cherry? That's yeah. weird. Like a cherry? Really? His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. Oh, cute. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. Yeah, but he just came down the chimney with all that so soot. He's dirty so and now he's clean. Yeah, how does he have it? Oh, it's magical. Santa has magical powers. The Go stump ahead. of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. Oh. And the smoke, the smoke came and circled. His head like a wreath. D kids, Santa doesn't smoke. This is an old story. I don't know, I don't know why. He doesn't. It, it, mute that out. We'll, we'll figure that out. Go ahead. He had a broad face and a little round belly. Okay. Well, wow. He's kind of It shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Oh. Now you can go. That was now, pretty good. That's jelly? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Like, like, uh, like you, really. But you couldn't do the jelly joke because you don't know jelly. He was chubby and plump. 
a right jolly old elf. Okay, cool. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. Oh wait, you laughed at Santa Claus? Well, you oh, you're not getting any presents then. I read this story. You're not getting any presents then if you laughed at him. A That's wink rude. of his eye and a twist of his head. A twist of his head, and he so broke his neck. No, I had nothing to dread. <laughs> you have nothing to dread, buddy, because he's gonna kick your tushy. Oh my gosh, are you sure this is a good story? It is. All right, go ahead. He spoke not a word, but went go straight on. to his work. Yeah. And fill all the stockings, then turn with a jerk. That was you. He turned and see you. Hey, there's the jerk. It's Buddy. <laughs> with the jerk, not into. Oh, with the, okay. So he turned into you. Okay. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and Maybe. giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. And he shot a <laughs> thing out of his nose. Take the shooting out of this. <laughs> what? <laughs> he sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, <whistles> and away they all flew, like the dawn of a thistle. Thistle? Whistle, thistle. Okay. What's a thistle? I don't know. You have no idea. But I heard him explain, er, ho, er, he drove on a slate. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh Say Merry gosh. Christmas. See? Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody. <laughs> that was worse <laughs> the other year. That was worse than the other year. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Chad's Money Show. You did my line for me. You're supposed to echo me. You remember oh. you're doing the echoes? Okay, let's do it again. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Chad Money Show. Chad Money Show. There you go. See, that's what I like. Why don't you remember that? I don't like it. You don't like it. Well, tough, tough tu tubulars. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, we're back to the show. Um, we got Melody Styles coming up in a moment as the guest. Yeah. What's this stuff behind us? So those are um, that's our brick wall, which okay. looks nice. A brick wall. And those are our um, stockings for Santa to fill. Okay. Chad. Yeah. And Bunny. Right. There's bunnies. Yeah. Why do you have a big, huge stocking? Because I, I get one. good stuff. And I have a little teeny one. Oh, uh, because you're not on the nice list as much. That's not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? I want a big stocking. You'll, I'll give you a big stocking, buddy. <laughs> it's called the knuckle sandwich. Oh, uh, the big yeah. stocking. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you know, look, this looks nice. Mom gave me this. Mm -hmm. Dad was like, you know, Bunny, you've been doing some things this year. I did year. some things. So we'll give you a smaller one. I got the little stocking. I'll... But but you might get more expensive gifts in there. That'd be nice. Oh, there would be some nice stuff in there. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you Santa's going to get you something he's going to put in there. I bet there is something in there. And I'm going to get something, too. Okay. Hopefully. We'll find out. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, what do we got? Oh, yeah, Melody. Melody so, uh, Styles. Uh, Melody is here. So welcome to our show, Melody. Hi. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh, thank you for having me on your show, Chad. Hi, Melody. Eh. Hi, Bunny. You know, I'm still mad at you for leaving me in Uzbekistan back in 2013. You know, thanks a lot. I'm sorry, Melody. Okay. It wasn't that bad what I did. Oh, yes. Well, so, so, Melody, I know Bunny has told me a little bit about uh, your adventures in Russia, but knowing how he tends to uh, stretch the truth or lie sometimes, um, what really happened? Well, after my show, the Melody Styles show, ended in 2012, Bunny and I actually came up with this cute little act in which we worked as Donnie and Marie impersonators. <laughs> well, I was Donnie and Bunny was Marie. Eastern European audiences loved it. Oh, we were having a great time until Bunny abandoned me in Uzbekistan. Yes, that's the party didn't go into. So what really happened? Bunny was getting jealous of all the attention that I was getting. And just before a big show in Uzbekistan, Bunny just walked out. He left me to do the rest of the tour all by myself. Better? What happened was the CIA told the KGB what? to come get me. Why? And because, because I lost what? my passport. No and way. And I wasn't allowed to be in Russia. Oh, for, what? And I got a traffic ticket. Uh, oh, what a crock of you know what. That's what happened. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. 
Well, after Bunny left, I had to figure out a way to make the show work without him. So I started to do some of the material from the Melody Styles show. <laughs> and audiences loved it. They said it was even better without Bunny. Hey, that's great, Melody. So uh, after your tour, you came home, you got married, uh, raised a family. So what have you been doing lately? Lately? Well, let me go back a little bit further. Um, as you may or may not have known, I got married <laughs> and I stayed in Uzbekistan um, with my husband and we ended up having two beautiful kids, one boy and one girl, Don and Mary. <laughs> Oh, they are only three, but they are so talented. Oh, I just love them. Oh. But uh, just recently, we did get to move back to the States so I could focus on my career again and relaunch the Melody Styles show for my NBTV. Are you gonna have are you gonna have us on the show? Well, I know I'm going to have Chad and Wendell on my show, <laughs> but we'll have to see about you, Bunny. I don't know yet. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Hey, so, so Melody, do you and your family have any uh, interesting plans for Christmas this year? One of the things that most reminds us of Uzbekistan, and so we hope to keep it as a family tradition, is just going out to see as many Christmas lights displays as we can. And I heard that there is a pretty amazing, beautiful display at the zoo. So we hope to get there before the season is up. Hey, Melody, Chad brought it up on our last episode, the time we all went to the zoo, and we were little kids, and a gorilla looked at you, and he, he threw up. <laughs> what? Oh, thanks for bringing that up, Bunny. But, Melody, it was Chad, not me. Well, that just tears it up. I am not having you on my show, Bunny. You got me in trouble again. Thanks, Chad. Oh, hey, no problem, Bunny. But listen, I mentioned it on our show when she wasn't watching. You told her about it, so it's on you, Bunny. Sorry, Chad. Thank you for having me on your show, and I'll be seeing you soon. Happy holidays. So, thanks for coming on the show, Melody. Thanks, Melody. Yeah, we appreciate it. We'll see you next time. And, um, yeah, call me. We'll talk about uh, appearing on your show. Call me, too. No, don't call him. <laughs> so, okay, cool. All um, right, folks, uh, what do we got coming up next? Oh, we got another uh, commercial. So, um, take it away, beanies. See you in a minute. <laughs> To the Chad and Bunny Show. Chad and Bunny Show. Yes. See, I love that. Okay. I love that. You got to keep doing that. Okay. Especially if you want to get good presents from you know who. I want good presents. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. So, um, all right. So that we've had a fun fact, um, thrill packed adventure show today, didn't we? What a fun day that was. Yeah. I like Nasty Peace Theater. That was awesome. We finally uh, got through it. I think we, we got it right this time. I think we did it. Mm -hmm. I we'll have to go back and watch the episode again. But uh, your experiment. Didn't work. Oh my god. I tried making you some lunch. Yeah, and oh, folks, you don't want to eat what he made, really. Don't eat it. No, don't eat it. Don't even try to emulate that. No. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we had a great episode. Um, make sure you guys are out there. Be nice to each other. Um, yeah, so you'll be on the nice list and not the naughty list. Be on your best behavior so you know, get some good gifts. Right, because you know Santa is watching you. Mm -hmm. And he knows when you're naughty and he knows when you're nice. Sleeping awake. Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. That's kind of weird to me. I mean, you know, he's watching over me. It sounds like a horror movie. Yeah. Actually, there was a horror movie called Silent Night, Deadly Night. I saw that. Yeah, that was weird. That was it's like scary. I became like, well, we don't want to go into that. We don't want to scare no. the folks out there. No. Yeah, we don't want to put um, hibachis in your pants, you know, and make you, you know, scared out loud. So, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy Merry Easter. Christmas. Happy Easter. Happy Cheese Log Day. Happy Cheese Log Day. Right. Happy New Year. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day? Right, that's from in Canadian and English and... I know what it is. Oh, okay, we're going to punch Be safe, that. wear your mask. Right, wear your masks. 
I'll wrap yeah. it up with a mask. No, you don't want to put your mask on. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Don't wear I'm your scared. mask. Don't wear your mask. That kind of looks like underwear, really. It, it is underwear. It is underwear. Yep. Oh, speaking of underwear. I wore them yesterday. You wore them yesterday? Mm -hmm. Ew, <laughs> gross. He's putting underwear on his face. Well, uh, not the best segue, but uh, thanks again to um, our newest sponsor, Gray Owls. Thanks, Gray Owls. No, it's not Gray Owls. It's Gray Hooters. Wait, what was it again? The Gray Owls. Right, we had it right, the gray right? Gray Owls. Yeah. Oh, my God. See, look, we're already forgetting their name. That's terrible, isn't it? Thank really? you very much. Yeah, we appreciate you uh, coming on board as a sponsor, along with Beanies and Crapos, and we hope, Rampoo. Hopefully. Nice. Right, yeah. So until our next episode, be safe, be happy, be nice, um, be diligent. Thank you, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. We'll see you next time. See you Bye. next time. Yeah! yeah.